Hi guys, welcome to Next Gen Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 9.4 question. So let's get started. So in this question, you are given one mole of silver and copper heated together from 298 Kelvin to form a melt, it means a solution, at 1356 Kelvin. So here we need to find the heat required for this solids to become melt from 298 Kelvin to 1356 Kelvin. So we use the molar heat capacities from table A.2 Appendix A so that we can get the heat required to do this melting and mixing. So first we will do the heat required for heating the silver from solid to liquid. So there are three transitions as shown here. One is from solid heating then melting and solid to liquid transition. So to get the molar heat of melting we go to table A.5 and we get the silver melting from solid to liquid and copper melting from solid to liquid. So for the delta H of 1 mole of silver heated from 298 to 1356 Kelvin we do the integration as discussed before. So after putting the numerical values and integrating and then in putting the intervals for the solid, the melting transition and for the liquid heating, we get a delta H of 4126 joules. Now for copper in the same way we do the heating of solid and then melting of solid. After inputting the CP values and the intervals of the temperature we get the heat. So we are mixing one mole of silver and one mole of copper so we have two moles in the mixture. In the question we are given the delta H for mixing is given a regular solution equation. So we have to multiply that with the delta H to get the melting temperature. Now the total heat required for this is the heat required to raise the temperatures and to melt plus a heat released due to mixing. So we get around 7000 joules. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also please press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any content that you would like to see, please do comment below.